did we have an extra person? Oh, I don't yeah, know if that whatever. helps or hurts us. Yeah, it could, could be a disadvantage. Okay, what do you we're, see? We're allowed to be collaborative here, right? Yeah, well, of course, why not? Uh, we're in South America, that's my guess. I love that from you. I love that from you. So you give me the continent, I'll give you the country. Okay. Time. Yeah, I'm I'm very content with that. You're locked on South America. Uh, yeah. They use Gmail here too. I don't know if that helps you out. Mm, Ecuador. You think we're in Ecuador? I yeah, I do think we're in Ecuador. Level of confidence. Sixteen. Okay. Well, let's let's look a little more then. <laughs> Sixteen. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Sixteen's so kind of low. What's the threshold of confidence for you to start accepting my answers? Uh, I mean, if you were like 80, I would be like, let's send it. Okay. Right, 16, 80. though? I don't, I don't know about that. I, I have no idea. Okay, well, we got well, 15 seconds. It's shocking that 18 people waited that long, though. It is actually very true. I'm, I'm going to say, um, I don't know, man. I'm going Chile. I can see everyone else's guesses, and they made me so insecure. Oh my god, Puerto Rico? I, it looks like it's best guess versus best guess. Eh, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Continent is um, Europe. Mm -hmm. and, and the country it has to be, um, of course... Uh, <laughs> Italy, right? I mean, come on. Ludwig, I think I know where we are. Wait, 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 wait. Level of confidence, 100. Malta? I have placed us in Malta. This is one of those things, right, where it's like Malta, comma, Italy. Malta, comma, Portugal. It's multiple Malta, multiple Three points. We win these. We'll take it. I'm going to let you do uh, country on this one. I'm going to say we're in Europe. I, you know, I wouldn't mind being able to do the continent mm -hmm. part of this. Dude, okay, this Eastern is my European. wheelhouse. Yeah, th this, is, this is the Balkans. Really? 100%. How do you know? it's, all the houses are like orange and brown. Mm. Oh, I, you know what? We're in Lithuania. I, I with 100% mm. degree of certainty, I'm guessing Lithuania. Which is not a Balkan country, just for the record, but it's a it's a it's, it's a Baltic. It is a Baltic. Not, I, I always get those confused. What is a Balkan? Um, it's in the Balkan mountain range. Ooh. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Close enough. You, seems like you have influence in where people guess by saying it. Though. I have noticed that actually. I think well, it's Wolf like. It's herd mentality, right? Because like as soon yeah. as well, you only get fifteen seconds, it's not a lot of time. Uh, yeah, I find myself to be a sheep sometimes. It's just easier that way. Mm. When when you're at a convention and you're rolling like twenty people deep, are you suggesting the restaurant or are you just um, going along with whatever's whatever's suggested? I, I nowadays I do because I had a bad experience once. Oh. Uh, it was, I, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. By the way, I think we're in just the UK here. I think we're in Jersey, the Isle of Jersey, between I, I France and England. Because the, the I'll, I'll give you my hint: the the roads are so tight. When the roads are tight, you go Jersey. There, you, I, are, is it just you? I had, you I had a dominant friends? guess. <laughs> Hang on, guess. So I, we were at a convention once, and uh, and we were all going out, and, and we had like planned to go to some spot. I can't remember what. And a friend comes up and he suggested um, Panda Express. Okay. And we laughed at him. Oh, no. Uh, and then walked away and went to our original restaurant, which he did not join. And he has brought that story up. This is Slime, my bald friend. Uh, maybe five times a year. Yeah, so I mean, now, that's a little... Like, did you invite him to go to the other restaurant or... Uh, look, I don't remember the story as well. From my perspective, you know, I was just... I was just, ha you know, I was just having a gap. Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm cracked. I did. I wanted to put you uh, not on notice, but I, I loved the poker photo that was like the creator versus poker pros, and everybody had like a, a mood lighting professional photo shoot. I don't know if you had done that with Photoshop or if uh, they had done it themselves. But then Slime was just like him in a button-up shirt and hoping that no one would notice the lighting. 
Yeah, they, they, it's for two poker events in a row. They've just used him, and it was at the Logan Paul fight. And he was <laughs> the fattest he's ever been, with the harshest lighting he's ever seen. Oh man, that is great. Oh, oh Sri Lanka. Did you get this? I did not. I, I put us in, um, I think, Bangladesh. Yeah, me too. We're doing great, though. I mean, we are on 5x damage, but these are the ones. Oh, man. Uh, wait. Well, it's it's Ghana, right? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, my mistake. Dude, I'm so bad at the African guesses. I know it's Kenya now. I'm going I'm going towards Mombasa just to hedge our bets. Smash yeah, I the space bar. Oh, is that me? It's you. That's them. It's them. Oh, it's them. Are you I a thought poker it was, enthusiast? Uh, I want to be a poker enthusiast, but I, I have to tell you, when I got into poker, because uh, I'm old, it was like right when that first boom happened, when, you know, in the mid-2000s, World Series of mm -hmm. Poker kind of took off, bought the uh, Daniel Negreanu Xbox 360 poker game to practice. Money maker. Exact. Greg Raymer with yeah. the lizard glasses. But I sure. had no spine, so I never went in on a hand oh this is bad it's got to be like mexico south america hold on i'm taking like poland but i i do support the mexican guess you're going poland? i'm going poland man okay this hey, mexico know. we're alive we're alive this is a game of inches here <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to get out of the way so I played in one poker tournament and then, you know, only went in when I thought I had a good hand. So everybody knew what I was doing and I lost like in the first, I don't know, 10% of people that were in the tournament. And uh, mm -hmm. I have not played for about 15 years since then. But now I understand probability more and I would, I would uh, be interested in checking it out. But it also seems very time consuming. I feel like you'd be phenomenal. You think that I'm smarter than I am, though. I just am smarter than most streamers, which is not that hard. That's fair. That's, it's, it's honest. Oh, you know, yeah, you've been to college. You know, you did. Nobody was like, "Oh, the biology majors, the the cream of the crop." Is that what you are? Oh, it's what I was. Now I'm a, a noted degree holder. Biology. biology. What were you gonna do? Yeah, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. So I went to um, I went to Korea to teach English as a second language. That yeah, was yeah. You know, I tried to do that. I almost took a similar path. I tried to do the Jet program, which is the that version, but Japan. Yeah, yeah. They rejected me instantly. You know, it was they, one of the fastest rejections in Jet history. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's like whoever was like handling the applications that day looks back on that and is like, that's the one that got away. No, you know, I do have that, but I don't think it's with the JET program. I did the exact same thing, fastest rejection ever. I hold it for two two places, JET and then Twitch.tv. For a partner? I applied for a uh, like a partner manager. Oh. And, uh, and I was friends with uh, uh, Bobby Scar, who was like a high-up product manager. And I was like, hey, put my resume for, through. Like, uh, and he's like, all right. That same evening he put it through, they got back to me. 9 p.m., somebody was working, and they were like, no. Wow. It was ruthless. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, and then I was like, oh, I'll become a streamer. The easier path. There's no barrier to entry. Yeah. You can't, you can't stop me from getting in the door. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. It's possible to cap a lobby to four people. Yeah. Uh, are you saying yeah with confidence or do you just think it should be the case I think it's just possible that sounds possible to me or do, like when you made it was 20 the default I, I, I remember a reality where I used to be able to pick the amount of people but nowadays it's it feels like I can't do that maybe uh, I can do so let, let me take a look here I've created five different funny <laughs> okay. Tuesday hangouts. <laughs> You're right. I don't I don't seem to be able to keep the lobby to four. It just it, I don't be seem to be able to change the, the lobby size at all. You know what's funny is people are doing team duels in this lobby without us. That's nice. That's cute. 
<laughs> we created a friendship. And then when they want to play with us, we'll give them the fastest rejection ever, but only so they have motivation to supersede what their ambition used to be. Do you have two shooters? I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's kind of a personal question. <laughs> you got two people that you can ask right now who are a good challenge. I can... It's, I see what you're saying. Because if I drop the code, too many people will join. Exactly. Yeah. So to keep it in honest 2v2, you need two shooters who aren't going to snipe. Who are decent. Mm-hmm. I can... Hold on. I think I can, I can do this. Okay. And if you can't, I can also give it a, a whirl. But I just I thought I'd throw it your way. I'm, I'm not good at Discord. So give me one moment. Just don't press the delete key. No, I'm not. I, I would never. Hold on. I, I, I have, Evan, I have tried to add you as a friend on Discord. Then I'll send you the link and you can get a shooter to join your team. And I can serve okay. as the middleman. One shooter a pop? No, I mean, I think he will get a partner, probably. Oh, he gets a shooter. I think oh, that's so. Great. But you know what? If they win too much, then we'll go one and one so they can't collude. <laughs> so oh, they can't talk to each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, because then, well, you know, well, then they, we could just cheat off you. That's a good point. Yeah. I'm not live here. You're not live? No, I'm not live. I just came to do this for funsies. I have a, I, I have a, I have a lunch in like an hour. Okay. This is this is weird. I want your take on this. Yeah. The person I'm going to lunch with sent me their their location and they said I'm going to share you my location until lunch. Until lunch. Yeah, but I don't know am I supposed to share it back? <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Like like on the iPhone you can share locations with someone. Yeah, is it like a live tracking thing like you can see where they're going? Yeah, and I've never experienced this, and they just they message me, and they're like, hey, I'm just going to share you my location today. I don't understand why, and maybe this is me being elderly, but why wouldn't you just tell them what restaurant to go to, obviously not Panda Express, and then be like, meet me here when the clock says 1.30? Here's, here's the fucked up part. That's what I did. And then they <laughs> sent me location for the day, and now I know everywhere they go. <laughs> yeah, why would you want that? I, the thing is, I don't want to do it back because maybe I will want to show up five minutes late and I don't want them to know mm. I'm sitting in my ass at home and, and they'll know every second of that. Are you going to eat in like a war zone or something? Like is it in case that you lose contact with them, you can find the last known site that they were at? Yeah, it's, you know, not many people make it out of the restaurant, but really delicious sushi rolls. <laughs> Only in L.A., I think. Is that right, L.A.? Mm -hmm. L.A., yeah, okay, that's where yeah. I'm at. You come down here often? Mm, I went once for E3. God rested. Is E3 dead? I think it's, it's officially deceased this year. This looks like Ghana. Do, do you can tell from the luggage rack? No, 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 there's no luggage rack. Not, not Ghana. It this is South Africa. The question is, is there a chance it's Botswana? That's always mm. the question. Well, you know what? Let's, let's take our time. How, be, I'll be honest with you. And I'm, it's an ask, I'm asking you the question now that I think about it. So you be honest with me. After mm. you saw the TikToks from the GeoGuessr Pro, how much more tempted were you to just smash in your first instinct, like as fast and as hard as possible? I only haven't done it out of respect for you, but I would have clicked the space bar five seconds ago on South Africa somewhere. I can't get it out of my head. You know what the thing is, too? I don't think there's diminishing returns the longer I'm in. Like, once I know yeah. I'm in South Africa, I've, I've narrowed it down a lot. I'm not going to figure out the exact place unless I happen to see a street number. I do see a border crossing, it looks like. Oh, perhaps. Uh, well, you know what? I'll, I'll take the border between South Africa and Les, uh, Eswatini. Okay, I'll go Lesotho. Yeah, let's send it. Maybe we know something they don't know. But I'm going to be furious if it's Botswana. I don't think it's Botswana. It doesn't seem Botswana-esque. 
Oh, wow. You know what, though? Look at this. 91, 89 points. There we go. Oh, this is my time. You know, I was watching Moon Knight. In episode one, he gets teleported somewhere. Couldn't even turn off my geo brain. First thing I said, this is Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> I, do not play, I play that when I watch TV shows. I'm watching old enough, and I just mute the intro, and I'm like, all right, where are we in Japan? It's an amazing show. I, I I've love seen, that show. I've probably seen half of the episodes. It's so good. Would you do that with your kid? Not right now. She's only 19 months, so she's still like a little young for that. But I mean, they they got some they young kids on there. Yeah, they had like, a 20, I think that was the youngest. Was a 27 monther. I don't know if it's uh, if this we can do like an A B test because I have a kid. Every episode of that show makes me cry, even though like there's no trauma. It's only wholesomeness and like kids believing in themselves. So, okay, that's what I thought fathers should feel like, but I hung out with Mango. Do you know Mango? Uh, I know of him, yeah. Yeah, he's the smasher. He has a kid that's like nine, but he was like, man, I wish there was more action in this show. I want like a kid to get hit by a car. <laughs> what? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're a father. And he's like, yeah, but it'd be like, you know, there's got to be some drama. There was a kid who, have you seen the kid who drops his fish and then he drops his apples and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I told him. I was like, that's the drama. Yeah. Like they failed their task. That's the most dramatic uh, episode of all. And he was like, he was like, yeah, that's right. Well, you know, it's like, not okay. for everybody. It, it makes maybe, me cry every father. single episode. What's this word? What's this word? You Chill. cry every episode? Yeah, yeah, every single one. That's beautiful. Dude, honestly, the older I get, I'm like, I cry at everything. I noticed it first in like 2018. I cried at the end of Black Panther. Not like, you know, I'm the spoilers, sorry. Not like when Killmonger, but instead when he builds like the subsidized housing in Oakland for the underprivileged youth, I was like, this man's a damn hero for real. I was I was choking back tears. I get the... Beautiful. I, I, you know, so I'm in swings. Like I get, I get like months where I'm crying at everything and then yeah. months where I'm, I'm good. I think we're in Italy, by the way. Really? I I saw what I thought was French and English. Uh, maybe. Uh, you know what? Actually, I have to figure out where this is. Then it could be. There's blue on the left and right side of the license plates, which is in Italy. Okay. I also think it's in Belgium. Okay. All right. I. So I, maybe we're in Belgium then. So Belgium, I would love to see a uh, white front and back license plates. And I think I do see that, but that, that doesn't necessarily confirm anything. Maybe it's in France, and they I, have weird license plates here. I think it's, I, looking at these signs, these look French to me. That's just Read my- Read one out for me. Um, well, it's just a, a white sign, but it says Mondon Beaumont Fontaine SR. <laughs> is, uh, is my French accent not, uh, <laughs> is it not oh, good enough no, for you? No, I didn't no, realize. Hey. Oh, Mondon Beaumont. That's great. It's, That's it's like 12 years of Canadian French education. Je suis in pizza. I, uh, I, I did listen to XQC hop on a phone call with his father. Mm. And they spoke Quebecois. And yeah, I, yeah. Not a word of it I understood. Yeah. I mean, like I... Uh, you'd think given the amount that we're exposed to it here, I would pick some of it up, but it's not the case. How good are you at Korean? Very bad. Um, I can are you read. Being humble, though? No, not at all. I can read the alphabet. This here's a weird thing to say because I'm kind of like at, at family gatherings and stuff like that. I'm immersed in Korean, like people speaking Korean, watching Korean media, stuff like that. I think I actually speak it better than like I understand it from a reading standpoint. I think uh, you go. Um, where are you going? South? Or, yeah, I'm thinking... Uh, yeah, very far I'm, west. You go west and I'll go north. Okay, I'm thinking southwest. Ish. <laughs> oh, you know what? Good good hedge on the bets there. Try to cover. Try to cover. That was a long round. That was a long round. I in Because I lived there, I can say things that are necessary. Like, um, hello, can I have a garbage bag? Um, where's the bathroom? Uh, you know, turn left here. This is also France, by the way. Yeah, 
You know what? I'm smashing in. I'm, let's let's do the same thing. I'm taking Southwest. Okay. I can say uh, two beers, please. I can ask uh, for uh, kimchi fried rice to go. That's about it. Ooh, ooh. He's, he's cracked. Something, something about it. Something about it. Fell west or east. I get those uh, so, confused well, okay. all the time. You know, it sounds like you can, if you were dropped there, do all right. I would live for sure. That's good. I wouldn't like rule the land after six weeks, but I could I could get to the airport and get home. I mean, when I lived there alone, I was I was only like 21 or something like that. So I, I possess way more skills now than I did back then. I, I'm so old that when I went to Korea, I didn't even own a cell phone. My mom slipped like some cash into my pocket and told me to buy an international calling card from a convenience store when I landed. You ever fathom how much the world has changed since like 2010? Pretty Baltic here, by the way. I, yeah, I couldn't you, agree more. You are old. Um, I'm I'm elderly by streamer terms for sure. But you're you're 25 or 26, right? I'm 26, yeah. So wh where are you go? You already went. I'm going Czech Republic here just to hedge my bets. The I'm getting old though, I think. Nah, I mean even here's the thing. I'm 33. Oh! <laughs> Insane! I saw the R with the V over top of it, and I, it looked like a bed hedge to me. Come on, Eric. Is Look that Eric? At that. Come on. Oh man. Look at the sweat. That felt amazing. We're so smart. Yeah. Holy cow. Uh, do we run it back with these with these goons? Or Please, they... yeah. But, uh, like, even at 33, like, you're not old. Like, you, I don't think you're old until you look like you're going to look for, like, the rest of your life. You know how, like, you, you see someone and when they're, like, 65, you're like, that's pretty much, like, that's it. <laughs> you're going to, like, if, if you live to be 100, like, I'm not going to look at a photo from 40 years ago and be like, wow, you were so young. I'm going to be like, yeah, there's pretty much, I see that there's a difference, but still. Yeah, what makes me feel old is less like, I guess that's like big picture old. It's just my references. Mm, okay. I'm, I'm still referencing Timmy Turner Power Hour too. I have no he, idea what that is. He jumps in to surf through all the channels. Probably Germany. Austria, Vienna. You're taking Vienna? Okay. I'll, no, I'm going to hedge your bets and go Amsterdam. It's Vienna. Okay. Well, I love that. Good, good confidence. Good confidence. Like, it's messed up to hear you say something like Jimmy Neutron is like a, a reference that makes you old because I think it's a reference that makes you young. This is Singapore or Hong Kong. This is Taiwan, 100%. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm going Taiwan. It's 100% Taiwan or Hong Kong. <laughs> okay, I'll go Hong Kong. I'll go good, Hong Kong. Good, good, good. Smart idea, smart idea. I'm looking at these buildings and I'm like, uh, you know, I still think it's Taiwan, honestly. No, I think this is Hong Kong. I think you're. I think you're right. Great, right. great stuff. Great stuff. That's why we hedge. They hedge too. Yeah. yeah. Hedge. Hey, look at that. We're we got six times more damage dealt though. Because like I feel like the references that I would have, like I I didn't grow up even like SpongeBob SquarePants was too new for me to watch. No. Yeah, I didn't know. None of my peers watch SpongeBob SquarePants came out in 99 yeah well uh, to be fair yeah back then the the world didn't have such quick information travel in the in the stone age so because i live in canada right. we probably didn't get it to like you know 2000 2001 but sure oh we are in hungary with a hundred percent certainty how do you know please i saw a top level domain okay yeah that's I, fair. i'm gonna take the eastern the mid eastern part of the country it is usually there i'll go near budapest though I think that's a perfect hedge. I love this. Yeah, but you know what the, the beauty of it is? Your references are so old that they're classic. And I think my references I like are, that. They're just young enough that it's like, oh, damn, you're bringing up Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> so the kids are like, I don't fucking know what you're talking about. And the right. adults are like, what are you talking about? 
There's well, like a sweet middle ground of people who are like, I don't even like Jimmy Neutron that much. It's a, it's a funny thing to think about because I remember in my freshman year of uh, university, we were nostalgic for like NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys. And then when you, th uh, this is the Netherlands. I, I've got to think it's the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, I think you're spotty. I'll take Rotterdam. Hello. But really like, that was because I was I was 17 when I went to university. That was stuff from seven years ago at that point. Six, seven years ago. That's a huge chunk of your life. Now, seven years ago was 2015. That's like, I'm the same guy. It just takes way more time for like, for nostalgia to kick in when, when you start counting in terms of decades instead of years. Yeah, so the seven years now, like your next seven years won't be that big of a time gap, you're saying? Yeah, I mean, I think I'll probably feel it like more watching my, my kid grow up, but like the from 25 to 32 or, you know, 26 to 33, I feel like nothing has changed. <laughs> Just, I'm still watching 90 Day Fiance. I'm still getting the same stuff from the grocery store every time. Mm. What are your go-tos? Oh man, I mean you gotta get oh okay, hold on. This is This is hard. I I'm gonna take Middle England. Really? Yeah. I saw English. I I went like Luxembourg from sheer panic. Oh Ireland. That makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. It does make more I, sense. I just panicked. I saw something that didn't seem English and it was Irish. <laughs> Hold on. Got to be Thailand, yeah. You think so? I'm, I'm. This is Bangladesh, and I say that with a hundred percent certainty. I wouldn't I give that. you the one hundred percent unless, I, unless I felt it. What, what, what is, where does that confidence come from? Uh, I, I recognize the language because it has a, a an unbroken horizontal line connecting all of the characters. Well, Thailand has that. It's just on the bottom, right? I honestly, this is news to me. It's good info. Uh, yeah, and I might, it might not be news at all. That might be it, wrong. Well, it's a good point. It could be fake news. Which is good. Which is new. Oh, why? Yo, did you see this? They got burgers here. <laughs> so burgers at Roadstar. To coop means f uh, for lease in Dutch. So we are in the Netherlands. For lease? In, yeah, like to rent. How do you know that? Mm, you don't do a lot of uh, commercial real estate in the Netherlands? You know, I just got into it. I, I know you got a lot of irons in the fire. Apparently it means for sale, which means I got to go make a phone call real quick. <laughs> <laughs> they only got one guest on their team. I don't know. Is that guy just carrying it? Oh, no, he's in. <laughs> there's a guy in Latvia. I didn't see him. This is, I don't know where this is. I just wanted to seem cool. South America? I think you're right. This is not my area of expertise. Ooh, probably mm, Peru, Bolivia. I could be persuaded. Pare. I always get confused because Spanish is pare and Portuguese is like alto. Or is it Portuguese is pare and Spanish is alto? And then every once in a while, you just see one that says stop. And you're like, what am I doing here? Yeah, I don't like when they throw the stop at me, but certainly we're in Ecuador. Level of confidence? A thousand. A thousand percent. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you take Quito. I'll put us in. Uh, you know what? I'll be in Quenska. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Our uh, Ecuadorian <laughs> viewers, my apologies. Well, and to answer your question, we just won. Look at that. Dang. I mean, 11 miles, what are you gonna do? How'd you know we were in uh, we were in Ecuador? Well, because the, the stop sign said Pare, and then there was a bus at the stop sign that said Ecuador on it. Ah, so the stop sign was not really that helpful at all. <laughs> no, 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 just some, just some fluff to the story. Okay. So my uh, grocery trip, look, it depends what I'm yeah. getting, but I got to say, I like, I, I go grocery shopping like five times a week. I, it's my leisure time. Gets me out of the house with the baby in the stroller. Let me get like mm, two russet potatoes, one to two bell peppers, a fresh herb, 
Depends what you're making. If you're making some pasta, give me some Italian parsley. Maybe something more Mexican inspired. I'll take some cilantro. Um, I'll, if you're making some salmon, I'll even pick up some fresh dill or something like that. Apart from that, then you go to the protein section. I mean, if you're making a steak, I would like to get the strip loin. Otherwise, give me maybe like four chicken thighs or two salmon fillets. Mm, Prepackaged cold brew coffee. Uh, individually wrapped single serving cheeses for both myself and the baby. And I mean, that's that's pretty much it. We we are similar, I think. My main go to would be like DoorDash, Taco <laughs> Bell, but like if right. they're, if, you know, if I'm not feeling it, like if I'm like I want to go healthier, like maybe mm -hmm. I'll go like a Habit Burger, um, and then well for protein, um, you know maybe Mexican inspired, back to Taco Bell. So do you think that the DoorDash drivers know that without them? Twitch would collapse. Sorry, streaming. The streaming industry would collapse. I don't want to be exclusionary. I would say DoorDash drivers are like first-class citizens in drive-thrus these days. You, they, there should be a separate line. Well, no. This is what happened. I, yesterday, I went to go to, to the grocery store. So I actually went to go through the Taco Bell drive-thru myself. I tried to. I, was, okay. I got out. I got out of the house. And, uh, and we go to the Taco Bell. We go to the drive-thru. And then in the window, they say DoorDash only. Wow. I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, oh, we're only allowing DoorDash drivers in this drive through at the moment. I'm like, can I go in the store? They said no. So I had to, I had to do the DoorDash for pickup, for, and I became my own driver. <laughs> they made you order it on the phone, like in the yeah. line? Yeah, that's what I did. And I waited 10 minutes, and then I was my own driver. That seems incredibly inefficient. That's what I was thinking, but I mean, I guess if they're if they're willing to do it, there's clearly, you know, they're only seeing DoorDash drivers these days. Man, that is wild. I did tip myself fifteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> the streamer discovers infinite money. I created an infinite money glitch IRL, not clickbait. <laughs> yeah, it's it's genius. It's next level. Uh, we booting back with these, are these guys platinum or what are they? What are, what are I they? think that's, that's plat probably. I mean, look at, look at our drip versus their drip. Well, let's make it spicy. No moving. No. Oh, I love this. No moving. Panning and zooming on the table. Okay. The more instinctual the game gets, I think the better I play, honestly. I agree. I think the worst thing you do sometimes is think. I couldn't agree more, quite frankly. I couldn't agree more. I'm going to tell you, this is a tricky one right out of the gate. This, it it kind of looks South Korean to me. You've, you've already, did you see some Hangul? <laughs> I saw a bit of Hangul. Okay. Good, good. It's always Seoul, man. What was I thinking? It's always Seoul. It is always Seoul, and I thought I'd get custom. I was like, no, this is... What is that one? Uh, you went to Gwangju. That's where they invented the, the red bean paste bun. Really? It's true. Or at least it's popular there. You know what side of the road we're driving on? It's a bit tricky. You gotta <laughs> um, that car in the background seems to be driving... Yeah, like... I, I, I don't understand. But this, I mean, do you think this is Australia or like South Africa? Keep it simple, South Africa. I mean, come on. Okay, just to hedge bets, I'm placing us in Australia briefly. I, I, I don't want to lose on this one. I don't think we're going to win on this one. If, I, if you're pressing me, I would say we're South Africa, but I'm going to just be the backup plan. Okay, yeah, that's fair. But I did, someone in my chat did say if you only see white cars, it's probably South Africa. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Well, you know what? It's probably really sunny there. The car gets less hot. Mm, Japan. I I agree with the, your intuition here. I disagree with your intuition. Damn it. Taiwan. This looks like Taiwan to me. Ooh, you see this guy behind us? A lot of tickets. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Does that change? Do you think that there's more uh, crime in another country? 
probably closer to Hong Kong than CCP cracks down on that kind of stuff. I want you to guess Hong Kong because I think it's Taiwan. Uh, no, I do think it's Taiwan. I was making a bit of a meme. I'm going to I chew. Oh, no, you're going. Okay, I'll go Taipei. Whoa. We're, this is ridiculous. I don't even, I've never even heard of Kaohsiung. I'll tell you one thing. They did not invent the red bean paste bun there. <laughs> Damn fact. This uh, is Ireland. Whoa. Based on Confident the sign, uh, 1,000. Okay. But I don't know where. I mean, let's just find the road. Like Invercargill, I've seen it a thousand times. Surely that's got to be Dublin. Okay, I, I don't... Hey, you said a thousand. I'm not trying to disrespect <laughs> that. I don't see a red 87 or a red one anywhere. Uh, Maybe Scotland? <laughs> oh, no. You're a thousand. I was at that. I'm, I'm sticking with Ireland. This is Ireland, man. Stick with all, Ireland. 100%. I'm sticking with Ireland, too. No doubt. <laughs> a thousand! Stream, he told me he was 100% confident, dot, 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 not clickbait. Oh my God. Now it's That's all it. coming like clear to me. Obviously is New Zealand. Look around. I mean, look, I didn't, I didn't even consider anything. I turned off my brain when you said a thousand percent. I turned it on before I said it. <laughs> that was my problem. I mean, now it's interesting though. You got to give them a win. That way there's a little stake. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, like they were getting bodied by golds. I didn't want them to feel so bad. <sighs> getting bodied by, by two singing streamers. <laughs> You're a singing streamer too. You're a Twitch, Twitch sing streamer. YouTube yeah, you know, I, I dropped an album. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you know, once upon a time. Hmm. Honest okay. question. Yeah. Are you a good singer? Have you never heard my Christmas album ever? I don't think so, no. I don't have media share on. <laughs> I, I sing with confidence. Okay, that's more than I could say. Uh, where did you put us in, in Japan? I put us in Japan. I, yeah, it's Japan. You're right. I put us closer <laughs> to Tokyo because I, I don't know that I'm pretty sure that's an emblem from Attack on Titan. Okay. Well, I didn't know anything, but I was closer, so I bet that stinks. Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. Let that be a lesson to you. Anime is just holding you down when it comes to GeoGuessr. Oh, absolutely. This is Poland. Where are you going? I'm going Krakow. Warsaw for me, then. It's almost never Warsaw. Yeah, I feel like it's it's rarely a city. Never mind. It's, it's downtown Katowice. Yeah, well, how did they get that? They might live there. Anytime they're that close, they live there. <laughs> Just a chance that Evan lives there. Do you get the same thing where you're like, uh, anytime you see like a restaurant, there's always like three people in chat that are like, oh, I've eaten at that restaurant. No, I think my chat's very similar to me. Mm. My DoorDash driver's eating at that restaurant. <laughs> you strike me as, as being relatively well-traveled for a young man. Yeah, well, luckily, because my parents are immigrants, but you know, Nowadays, my travels are a little more degenerate. It's like a two-day trip to North Carolina because Mr. Beast bought me a private jet. and I, I saw that. Me. Yeah. We're you, in Ireland. I. You, you think we're not in New Zealand? No, it's not pretty enough. I think you might be right. We might be in uh, ugly New Zealand, also known as Australia. I think you're right with Ireland, for the record. I'm just going to... You're going I'm, Australia to hedge, though? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go New Zealand to hedge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great head. I on it. I think that. Okay, it was Ireland. You got it. I'll hold it down for us. Yeah, yeah. I lose focus. Your guess can look like that. I appreciate that. I can't maintain concentration for like more than half an hour. But like for the half an hour, I'm kind of like insane with it. And then after that, I'm a complete idiot. Do you think there's a chance we're in Mexico? I would. I would give that my ten thousand percent confidence. Because my 1,000 is worthless. I'm going near Mexico City. Okay. 
send it. I will, I don't know where you head, uh, bed, bed hedge in Mexico. It seems very mountainous. Put me on the western edge. Probably. Uh, have you been enjoying the Switch Sports? Uh, I've been loving Switch Sports, honestly. Did you play Wii Sports? Yeah, of course. What was your Wii Sports power rankings? From like S tier, love it, to A, uh, like F tier, would never want to play it again. Uh, oh, oh, the, like which games are the best? Yeah. Mm, I, uh, bowling, I think, was S tier. Agreed. Couldn't uh, agree more. Bear in mind, this is all through the fog of war of being... How old was I? 10 years old when it came out? That that tracks. I was an adult. I voted in that election. Um, by, by the way here, real quick. <laughs> I, I'm going to go Ghana. Okay. Could I could I persuade you to? Okay, never mind. No. I think Ghana's a good guess. Um, I'm pretty locked on Ghana. Really, I'm gonna take uh, a green part of South Africa, like this national park right here. Mm, that's okay. They didn't get that many points. Sri Lanka. That's tough. How are you? Somebody turned off movement. How are we supposed to know where we are? Okay, bowling S. I think I always hated boxing. It's a horrible game. It was it was more movement than results. I don't. I, I do not like boxing in Wii Sports at all. I somewhat enjoyed tennis. I, like I would a, agree with that. I think it's like a B B tier game. Yeah. I like B tier. Uh, I vehemently rejected golf. See, that's where we we diverge. I thought golf was probably also like a tennis tier game. The problem is I was 10. I don't want to play golf. Uh, well, Tiger Woods got started when he was 18 months old. What's your excuse? Uh, no, now I just feel embarrassed. <laughs> Uh, and then, and then, what's the final one? Mm, that might be. I think there was only five: bowling, tennis, boxing, golf. Well, baseball. baseball. There was, yeah. They, but it wasn't real baseball. It was just like the home run derby. Yeah, it was kind of silly. It's okay. I think I really just booted up, play, made a me that looked somewhat like something funny on the internet, and then played bowling, and then got like a hundred twenty, and then went to bed. I, in 2007, I bowled a perfect game in Wii Bowling. It just makes me so much angrier that I'm pure ass at Switch Bowling. But I would say bowling, tennis, volleyball, soccer are all better than almost every game in Wii Sports. And then badminton and sword fighting, you know, I could take them or leave them. Yeah. I, I like soccer. Oh, I didn't know you had already played. We, I didn't no, know I you, were a, you were an old head. The, well, the new one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm day of. I, I'm a bit of a Nintendo guy. Dude, I'm happy to uh, to have a fellow soccer enjoyer because every time I play it, my chat just says, "Where are the cars?" We get we get two more people, and then we walk out with the most formidable soccer team, and I want to just stomp children for like three hours straight. It sounds fantastic. What position do you prefer to play? Generally, I prefer to go defense. Okay. I don't well, trust people back there, and I think people who sit in goal are like a little bit like they like they like a little bit of too much glue. Okay, uh, so yeah. we're in Europe, by the way. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the mid south of France. Yeah, Ooh. I went Netherlands because right. I thought it might be UK. But As everybody just got bored with that one. What what are you supposed to do? That was that was a tough one. I don't know what they were doing. I Maybe would. They were just they were, I think they were just being polite. Yeah. This. This is tricky. There's a <laughs> look, look a little bit to the left, and I think it's less tricky. A little bit to the left. Okay. Up your starting position. That is the flag of the United Arab Emirates. Would Does you it can... make it uh, a little less tricky? Yes. <laughs> I. You, where are you gonna go? You get first pick. I'll probably go UAE. Yeah, but like which of the two cities? 
um, you know, I almost always feel like it's Dubai, but I'm looking around and I don't see like the Burj. Yeah, you don't see Tom Cruise suction cupping his way up the Burj Dubai. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Burj and Khalifa. None of the plates are single digits, so. Mm -hmm. There's not Maybe a gold a little... bar vending machine. I think we're on a, we're on a road too. I don't see but... any of the cast of Sex in the City two here. The movie, obviously, not the show. I'm gonna go, do you see my marker? I, I don't. I wanna go in between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Okay, you do that, I'll, I'll put us out a little further into the desert. That's probably not astute of me, <laughs> based on our surroundings, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Are we dead? We're no. We're closer to Dubai. We're alive. Just, dude, we're on like 7x damage. 6x damage? All we gotta do is smoke them here. But look, full focus, just blast them. Full focus. Northern Hemisphere. South American seems like could be... Oof, actually, is it? I got no fucking clue where we are. This is impossible. Nah, is it South American? I think the, this is the Balkans. You like just saying that. I do. I feel very worldly when I reference the mountain range. I'm honestly, I'm not going to give him a chance to guess. For me personally, I kind of feel like this is like a, a north. Mm, let, ah, put me in Montenegro. But I think like, oh, you know, what? I'm going to I'm going to actually take Albania. But I think Should Croatia. I, your mind? I think follow your heart. Because I'm about 3% confident. I feel like I... It is really dry, though. Did I click? You I didn't, did. but look at this. You Maybe go. you did. Maybe you did. 17,000 of the easiest points I've ever gotten in my life. Get deleted. It's a great guess. Thank you. <laughs> uh, who are who are your who are your your buds on 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 this streaming platform? Um, so I some. yeah, I mean, I think you you I mean that in a rude way, by the way. I mean, like, I, um, I stream the most with the uh, this guy called Malf, who I went to high school with. He played, really? Yeah, way way back when it was just a one room schoolhouse. Right. It uh, was segregated. Yeah, <laughs> he had to go to a different school because his parents were Protestant and mine were Catholic. Yeah, um, yeah. and uh, Sips, who is a member of the Yogs cast, and we're all kind of in our like thirty plus age group, so our references actually hit. And then yeah, so a couple of the guys who were in Fortnite Mondays, obviously you know Chib, uh, Justin HC Justin was in it yesterday. Uh, dumb dog, world record holder, top six most concurrent subscribers in Twitch history after his most recent subathon. Is Dang. that right? Yeah, I, I, he he ran for I think it was like a thirty-four day subs subscribeathon. That's what they're calling it these days. Yeah, everyone's doing them, huh? Dan Giesling, former Big Brother winner, current Big Brother runner-up. He's a Big Brother winner. So when I met, I got introduced to Dan through a mutual friend. He was, I, I had heard that he was on Big Brother. So I asked him about it and he's like, yeah, I was on twice. And then it comes out that he won once. He came in second the other time and only didn't win because the jury resented him because he had already won. So they basically gifted the grand prize to the person who hadn't won. And then he's considered like maybe the best player to ever play it. Really? He, he's usually up there in like the top three, but oftentimes number one. Uh, this is embarrassing. I've only ever seen Canadian Big Brother. That is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Because I think season five, maybe three, they had Kevin Martin, who's a Canadian poker streamer. I had no idea. And I watched him and then he was on it. And, uh, and I think he got like a high placing and then they brought him back. Uh, and then he won. He's another big brother winner on Twitch. He might be the uh, the Canadian Dan then. Although he did it in the opposite direction. So like, loss win. I, I mm -hmm. yeah, That's also pretty impressive. 
Is that a goal of yours ever? No, I think honestly, I'm so condescending. <laughs> I do not think I could make it on Survivor or Big Brother. I think after yeah. like four days, they'd be like, we got to get this guy out of here. He keeps talking about the Balkans and how he loves mash. <laughs> He's so sarcastic. He, he, at least he does the dishes. It's great how he does the dishes, unlike everybody else here, but he's like so rude all the time. They cut you in the kitchen doing the dishes, and you're like, yeah, and then I'll go to the protein mm. section, and maybe I'm feeling so No, that, I would not even be it. like that. I would be doing the dishes, like muttering to myself. I'll be like, yeah, no problem. I'll do the dishes. Oh, sure. Hey, hey, Ryan, you want some help with the dishes? Yeah, that'd be great. But then, oh, you're, they're all just getting drunk in the living room and getting sloppy again. <laughs> you're, just a, you're just a crabby adult. I think I would spend most of my time just pulling down like the bottom of my shirt so that it didn't expose my belly, knowing that there's cameras on at all times. <laughs> I would just be adjusting my shirt 24 seven in the corner. How about you? Well, you we must be like six months away from you organizing like a, a three month <laughs> streamer big brother, right? Uh, no, you know, I, I, I stay away from the reality TV section of mm. it all, but. Uh, I, I tried actually, I got it. I got into a breakup in college and then I applied to every like growth <laughs> dating show. Are you the one, you know, next you this test and this is your perfect match. Can you find them in a crowd full of like ducks or whatever it is? Oh man. Uh, and, and I got far on a few interviews and then I backed out. I think that you should run a streamer like chopped or like iron chef style competition but you invite cooking streamers to be the judge but you find like the least like well-adjusted adult streamers to be the contestants like i want four streamers who have they only use doordash which is fine i'm not passing judgment but then you give them a picnic basket that's literally like chicken breast onions carrots and salt and then just see what they cook up because I, yeah. I think it would be nonstop laughs. That would be great. XQC in the kitchen attempting just <laughs> whatever he thinks he's supposed to do. I would just make anything that you think tastes good and then have the cooking streamers react to it. This is, this is a good idea. Uh, I'm working on a couple projects right now. Uh, but less cooking. Cutie's the cooking base. She's working on something cooking base as well. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. she, She's the, she's the real cook. She's the chef. She's the baker. And that's that's even tougher, I think, than like savory cooking. That's very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, I think it's like, you ever see Try Guys Without a Recipe? I have not, no. It's a pretty decent YouTube series where they like, it's like, okay, we're going to make muffins. But we're just we're just men in our 30s. And we have to make a muffin now. So they have no, and, uh, no model for how to do it. They're just going to guess at the recipe. Yeah, only having eaten muffins, and that's the information you get to use. That is impossible. Okay, well, that, <laughs> that, results prove that it is it is damn hard. That's chemistry. Kind of you gotta it. you gotta know what mixes with what in what quantity. You gotta be pretty spotty dotty. Like you can't be that far off. You could like reverse engineer like a steak or a sauce, but to like reverse engineer a cake or something like that, I don't know about that. That's is beyond me. Are you a baker? Not at all, no. I make a mean banana bread. On it, it is very impressive. Is your I freezer full of like old bananas right now? Do you do the thing my mom does, where she'll like take your bananas hostage if they have a single spot on them? <laughs> that's what. So my mom did, and then she would force me to make banana bread. That's why I know how to make it without a recipe, because she would buy way too many bananas, and then they would turn like a slight spot of black, and then she would keep them until they are the like black as night, and when you open them up, it goes. Pow! <laughs> a few banana drips come out she said time to make banana bread hey there's a show for you you could hire my mom and you could try to get streamers to throw out an old banana without my mom stopping her stopping them because <laughs> i'm telling so she runs great fun. defense she would be like you can't throw that out there's still a little yeah. yellow on it yeah and that's the whole show we'll, hey. we'll workshop it we'll workshop okay, it okay all right yeah i got a i got a whole basket full all right, I got I got time for one more before my lunch because I'm tracking this man and he's coming close. So should we be worried? Uh, no, I got. Wait, so this he gave you his location so you uh, would know when he's at your house. Well, he's not. He's going directly to the restaurant. That's so 
idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he also told me the time he would be there. That's why. Okay, he that's I could work with that. But how do you know when he stopped that he stopped in the restaurant? Uh, you know, that's a good point. But I, well, I see him right now. I see him on the highway. You know, I just see him on like the ten, and I'm like, okay, uh oh, he's gonna <laughs> get off soon. So I got I got time for one more game. Okay, okay. It's not helpful. It's just weirdly invasive. Yeah, I'll stop stalling. I, I mean, I here's my thing is like I don't want to have to do the math to guess when you're going to be there based on your current position and speed. I, want, I agree 100%. Yeah, why can't we just be like, be there at one, and then we'll just handle that ourselves? Well, the thing is, he, he did that. It's just, it's a double dip. It's a double dip with too much information. I don't yeah. feel like I should be able to have this information. I don't, I I don't that's I too have much. this appearance. I feel like we're in Romania, and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to put us in Bucharest. I'm saying 70% confident. All right, I'm going to go near Cluj. I think this is fine. It says Rom Petrol. Member of the Rom Petrol group. Oh! oh okay. All right, Cluj gets us there. Great hedge. Hmm. I wish I could read this. Hmm. I have no idea. I mean, it's got to be South American. I would say I, I would plus two that. What a cute police car. I know, right? Like, okay. Um, what are you thinking? Somewhere where they love God. I would say that doesn't narrow it down. Very south of Brazil. Okay, I'm taking Colombia. I'm taking a hedge here. They, spotty dotty. they were 12 kilometers away. They're probably from there. Definitely. They're, they, honestly, Polish mom, Peruvian dad. It's a tale as old as time. Mm. This is... Uh, Sweden or Finland. No Norway? Not enough red houses. I'm, I'm being as serious as possible. <laughs> this is not a joke for me. All right, all right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go very e uh, west of Sweden. I think that's a good hedge. I'm gonna take mid Finland. Halfway up the raindrop. Okay, it was Norway, but that doesn't happen very often. No, uh, I mean, it's rare. It's rare. Especially no Even Norwegians houses. were like, there's not enough red houses here. <laughs> They're actually, it's under construction. Man, no movement kind of hard, huh? Uh-huh. It's Okay, okay. This car behind us, you see this? It has a blue tag on the left and a blue tag slightly on the right. Yeah, yeah. I think with that, with that berth between them means we're in France. Really? Wait, but maybe not Porto Caleo. Yeah. What is that about? I don't know. I mean, that sounds Portuguese to me. No, and but there's no yellow badge. There's no yellow badge? What the heck does that mean? It could be Italy or Albania as well, because that's I, where the blue badge is. Okay, because it does look kind of Albanian to me. You go Albania, I'll go Italy. Okay. Okay. Should I click? I'm scared. Click, click. No okay. fear, no fear. All right, no fear, no fear. No fear. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think it's Albania, but I did click Albania. That's on me. I don't know. I just, anytime I see Portuguese roofs, I think it's Albania. Oh! And you're closest. Who would have thought? I do hate that feature of GeoGuessr where you can be closer, but in the wrong country and then win. Yeah. It's, it happens all the time, too. It's like the only reason I lose, except for those times when I guess Uganda and it's actually South Africa. Yeah, yeah. This is Cambodia. On God, on God? On God, no cap, as the kids say. Because in Cambodia, they named the biggest beer in the country Cambodia. Is that right? Anytime you see a sign that says Cambodia and it's got a bottle, you're either in Cambodia or you're at a Cambodian restaurant.
in Toronto. We'll lock it down. 51 points. That's that's free. Just got to live until this guess. Oof. Uh, right. um. <laughs> Half the map's not even in focus. This is... And it, it's taken with, like, a Game Boy camera. Well, I mean, with the ISOs at 12,800. Okay, we got Toyota, guy on motorcycle, decently busy highway. Yeah. Narrowish license plates. It feels like the Americas. I I disagree, but I I really? could be wrong. Squeak to that though. Well, I was just thinking that maybe it looks more like Africa, but then I'm kind of like looking around more and I'm like, no, that doesn't appear to be the case. But I do are we not in the southern hemisphere? What is your what is your sun seeing tell you about this? The great thing about the sun is that it's set, so it's perfectly to the to the west. So I can't tell. Right. And it's it sets to the west in the southern hemisphere too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think <laughs> Okay, <it's>, just <laughs> <laughs> That's not one of those things that gets flipped when you cross over the equator. Yeah, like in Australia, the sun sits on the east and the toilet bowl goes counterclockwise. I guess that'd be pretty messed up if you lived on the equator. You would be like, "What?" I'm gonna I'm gonna do something nuts. I'm gonna go Argentina. Okay. And I permit you to do what you think is best in your love of the world. Okay, you you do that. Um, I mean, this is really tough. I'm gonna. I think we gotta go for it. I'm just gonna put us in Chile. I think you're right on South America. Incredible Bam. guess. Incredible guess. And we just uh, and won. W. South Africa, those silly gooses. <laughs> I can't, but we're insane. You know, the only one we lost was that one where you told me 100% it was Ireland and then it was the biggest airport in New Zealand. <laughs> well, uh, did I say that? That's how I remember it. Yeah, you're probably right. You got a more age on it. <laughs> it's true. All right, get this. He messaged me that he was there, but 10 minutes early. See, that, it, that bothers me. Well, it, it, look, checked. as long as he's okay waiting by himself for 10 minutes, but if he is like, if he brings it up like, hey, you should have known that I was going to get here early because of my location sharing, then I would be like, well, I don't think that counts because how am I supposed to know you didn't have to stop at the gas station to, you know, fuel up or, or go to the bathroom or something? Mm -hmm. I'll update you. I'll let you know. All right? Wait, though, are you sleep. often late? Oh, regularly, yeah. It's okay, well, then days. I'm now on his side, and you okay, should, you well, should not, leave. Not to dinner, though, not or lunch. I'm very punctual at lunch and dinner. When there's, like, food involved? Oh, when there's food involved, come on. You got okay, like, yeah. a good digestive track. Well, I, All right, I support. I'm stalling, I'm stalling. I gotta go. 